Hey, what's going on guys? Pizza Lake with here and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get a bloody background by using Premiere Pro without spending tons of money for expensive camera or if you record your videos on your phone. So without wasting more time, let's go straight to my laptop and show you how we can do this. Now in Premiere Pro, I've got already my video loaded into the timeline and the first thing I will do is press C for the Razer 2 and make a cut at the middle of this video because I want to show you before and after applying the collision blur effect. Then I'm gonna hit towards those two little arrows, click on them and move down to effects. From here, I'm gonna type down collision and grab the effect and apply it to the second part of this video. Next, I'll move towards the effect control panel and scroll down to the collision blur. And after that, I'm gonna use the free draw bezier or with other words, the pen tool to create mask around myself. Then I'll click on it and start creating the mask on the program monitor. But because this is gonna take a while, I'll speed up this part of this video and I'll come up with the final result. And now when the mask is done, the next thing I'll do is go back to the effect control panel and go down to the Gaussian blur effect, go to mask, click on it and then go to mask path and click onto the track selected mask forward. I'll click on it and this will automatically track the mask for the rest of this video. And again, because it's gonna take a while, I'll come back when the tracking is done. And now when the tracking is done, I'll go back to the beginning of this video and see if the mask is going along the video perfectly or it needs some adjusting. To be honest, it looks not too bad. It's all right, and I'll go with it, but in your case, you can play up with it until you get fully satisfied with the result. Next, I'll go back to the Gaussian blur effect and increase the blurriness up to 16 in my case, but don't worry because you can increase it even more if you like. And also, I'm gonna tick off this inverted box, which gonna give us this pretty background while leaving the mask object clear. Then I'll click anywhere onto the timeline to deselect the mask and show you before and after applying the Gaussian blur effect. And as you can see, there is a huge difference with and without the Gaussian blur effect. And that's how you can create this blurry background in Adobe Premiere Pro by using the Gaussian blur effect. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did so, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one. Also, if you'd like to see more Premiere Pro tutorials, make sure to check the videos at the end of this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Pa 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 pow.